Hi guys, it's Talisha and what a year 2021 has been. We're starting off the year here with Isabel, who you would have seen in my year in review from the previous year. This was my first ride on Isabel. She's an off the track thoroughbred, four years old. And she was a project I had that I purchased in July the previous year to sell on. I don't have a heap of clips of her as a lot of the times when I was riding her, it just wasn't, I didn't have someone really to film me. So anyway, this is one of my first, this was my very first ride on her, sorry. Um, she was a lovely thoroughbred mare and I got her when Bambi was out of work for a bit as she had injured herself the year before. So I got her as a bit of a project and she was a lot of fun and kept me busy while I was not able to ride Bambi. So Isabel ended up selling at the end of January and here I will show you one of my last rides I had on her where you can see I'm riding her completely bitless. I'm just riding her in a halter and a lead rope. This was my last, one of my last rides I had on her before she sold and went to her new home. Uh, which was really nice. She was a lovely project to have just for a short amount of time. I just got her started on her new career after racing. Um, I took her straight from the track, gave her her big break, uh, and then she went straight on to do a little bit of low-level eventing, which is really exciting, and that's exactly what I believe she'd be really good for. So she was such a lovely little mare, and I was so lucky to have the privilege to work with her at the time that I did. Now we jump to February, which is the first comp of the year. It's so nice to look back at this clip in particular and see how far Bambi has come through the year. It's absolutely amazing. Just little things, how she's working in the frame, how her head carriage is compared to how it is now, and then her leg yields, which you'll see in a minute. Oh my God, I can't believe the difference in this horse in just a year, especially considering it's been a very trying year with everything we've had from COVID and every other weather <laughs> um, condition that the world has thrown at us. Like, whoa, what are those leg yields? <laughs> um, then we have her first pony club competition slash Gymkhana. Obviously, the pony club mount proved to be quite difficult for Bambi. She was not too much of a fan of the tarp, but she pulled through and um, we didn't do the tarp. I, I skipped that. But anyway, it was a very good competition for her first Gymkhana and she was very well behaved. We tried lots of new things for her, bareback classes, team of fours, things she'd never done before and obviously the pony club mount class and she came away with a lot of really, really good results and ended up re reserve champion at this competition. And then I went to a rider biomechanics class, clinic, sorry, on Bambi, which I plan to do plenty more of next year. I have a lot of issues with my hip um, through dance injuries that I've had previously when I used to dance and it causes a lot of issues to my riding position and Rose was able to help me in so many different ways that no coach has been able to help me before just because she specializes in this and I plan to go to many more of these in 2022 because they are so so helpful for me and my position and my injuries. March started off with me getting a new job. I started at a new track which was just so so good. Um, I'm working at Thenford Farm as a track rider slash a breakers assistant here. Um, such an enjoyable job at such a lovely facility. And here we have Mossvale Show. This show proved to be a bit of an obstacle for us. It just showed how Bambi needed a lot more exposure. She was a horse I bought during the bushfires and when I bought her not long after the bushfires eased we had floods which again cancelled more comps and then we had COVID so she has really been in and out of going to outings and whatnot. Um, she had had a lot of outings but not like a show like with the atmosphere of Mossvale show. There was a lot going on and it was a lot for her to take in and sometimes it just got a little bit too much for her as you can see in these clips. We pushed through and she went pretty well at this show and took away some good ribbons, no broad sashes, um, as she just wasn't consistent enough, obviously, but I was still very proud of how she pulled through. So I do like doing the hack shows just because the atmosphere is so different than dressage shows. There's a lot more that it throws at them. It makes a dressage horse a lot more <laughs> well accustomed to a dressage comp if they're used to the atmosphere of hack shows with rides and show jumping and whatnot going on. 
So here we just have an outing um, to one of the indoor arenas near us and I'm just starting to focus more on some of the elementary things as well as just relaxation. It was something that she really struggled with. She'd just get her pole high and just get really tense and stressed. So I've started to really, really drill the whole relaxation um, and the slightly lower pole into her which was not an easy thing because she naturally holds her head quite high as well. She likes the higher frame, so encouraging her to stretch down a bit is always a little bit harder, but as you can see, just how much more relaxed she, she is here compared to Mosfell Show is a big difference. Um, yeah, I was really happy with how she was progressing at this stage just with her relaxation. And then March was very exciting for another reason as well, because when we, we, sorry, English, we gained a new sponsor being High Gain Feeds. High Gain has been a company I have been using ever since I bought my first horse, which is Jeopardy. I've been using them for over six years now. And when they reached out to me and wanted to sponsor me, of course, I jumped on the opportunity because they are all I have ever fed my horses. I swear by High Gain. I swear by their supplements. So this was really, really exciting. And this is just a funny little clip of Jeff. Nope, this is Bambi. <laughs> of Bambi trying to get into her favorite feed ever, the show talk. As you can see, she absolutely loves it. And she desperately is trying to open this bag because she just loves it that much. <laughs> funny, funny girl. Now we are on to April and this is Drew. He's a almost 18 hand high Dutch warm blood I was riding at work as well as all the race horses and breakers. He is such a cool dude and such a fun ride. I also got my new float. Now I ordered this the previous year in November and I was so excited when it was ready. This is, we picked it up, we customized it. Well, I customized it all myself and I was so proud of being able to purchase a brand new float by myself. I was so happy with this. It is by Tuza, which was what our old float was as well, just because we loved our old Tuza. This is our little old Tuza, which we had to say goodbye to. Here we have more training with Bambi, doing more of the elementary laterals and just trying to get them all more established. As you can see, she's super good at her uh, shoulder ins and travers. Just starting to get that pole right where we want it as well. More relaxed, a bit of uh, self-carriage starting to show here as well. And Kanta still very green, need, needing a lot of development, but she is slowly starting to get her walkthroughs. Very messy still, but here she was just starting to get them done in a somewhat correct way, <laughs> just not neat. And then we also had Hawkesbury dressage. This was amazing. I was so happy with how she performed at this show. So much going on, busiest show she's ever been to, heaps going on, whether it was motorbikes, dogs, everything. You name it, it was there. She performed her absolute heart out, was not stressed at all, apart from at the awards <laughs> presentation. She, that was a little bit too much for her, but everything else, she just performed her absolute heart out in the ring and made me so, so proud. She, this was the show where she started to really relax into the new environments and I really started to see her just feel more trusting and comfortable with me and knowing that I'm not going to put her in a bad situation. She also walked away with reserve champion at this dressage comp, which was a really, really nice achievement for her. <laughs> From better to even better, Goblin Dressage was in May and she just really, oh, this was just even bigger improvement to Hawkesbury Dressage. She was so relaxed, she felt so supple through all of these tests, no tension, not a doubt of worry or stress, and it really showed with our results. She came away with first in all three tests with super scores or qualifying scores and there was no champion, reserve champion at this dressage comp unfortunately, but she won all three of her tests and just performed absolutely super and she got plenty of compliments as well, which was a really nice thing to get and just a bit of reassurance. Now we just have some more training. This is just at an outdoor arena not far from us. Just trying to get our laterals more established, starting to introduce half passes, which she picked up pretty fast. Um, still not 
tracking over quite enough and needing more bend you know these are the very start the very 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 beginnings of when she started to learn her half passes as you can see her walkthroughs are getting better as well a lot of improvement here's a little bit of half pass in the canter very very green more like a leg yield at that stage but she's trying <laughs> and that's all that matters she tries so so hard and she's just improving so fast June was a big month for trying to qualify, get our last qualifications in, I should say, for the 2021 Pony Club Australian National Championships. Here we are at the Zone 27, I believe, uh, Dressage Championships. Bambi and I walked away with the best score we've ever gotten at this comp. We got a whopping 79% um, in one of our tests, winning that test, and then we came second in the other test with, I think it was... 70% or 71% um, which left us with the reserve champion. We also went to barrel dressage the very next day and competed in our first ever elementary um, competition together. It was her first elementary start which was really exciting. Very green but she went really really well. So I competed at the Pony Club Australian National Championships the prior um, year well, 2019 was the last one and I walked away with Novice National Champion on my now retired Pony Jep. So I was very determined to qualify with Bambi. So here we have one of the training weekends, which is part of the qualifications. Bambi was absolutely super. And after this weekend, we it was actually supposed to be two days. But after the Saturday, we went into full lockdown due to COVID. But luckily, this one day was enough and Bambi and I found out a week later that we had qualified and would be competing later on in the year. The competition for Pony Club Nationals ended up having to be virtual due to COVID. I'll go into more details once we get to that part of the year, but we still got to compete and it was a very interesting way to run a competition, but it was quite exciting to be a part of that process. It was pretty, pretty cool. July brought a new member to our family and that is Ned. Ned is a miniature horse and we got him from one of my friends as a companion for Bambi because Jep was Bambi's companion but Jep can't be left alone because she has severe separation anxiety and she would just pace and pace and just run the fence work herself up to a sweat so we got Ned and Ned has been the best companion for Bambi they are best friends and he is completely fine with being left alone when she does go away to comps and lessons so I'm so happy with how it worked out he's such a sweet little mini I adore him I'm sorry about the quality of this one. I had to take this from Instagram because for whatever reason, I don't have this one saved on my computer. But here's just some more training with Bambi. Leg yields are starting to come along quite nicely. She's still got a bit of a tilt in her head, but all of her laterals are really nice. Her frame has progressed so much and is starting to get much more consistent and in a nice, slightly more collected frame. As you can see, this leg yields much better than the other side. Here's some basic little half passes again. Still very, very green, but getting there. Also working on slowing her canter. There's another half pass. And really establishing her counter canter just to get her ready for some of the harder movements, um, ensuring that she is strong enough for them before we start. So I love doing the simple changes into another counter canter lead. It is such a nice exercise and it is definitely one of my favorites. So I had also resigned from my track riding job, which I will get to in the August clip, but on my last week after I'd resigned, I actually got trampled by a horse. I, as I was getting on, she spooked. I went right over her and she ran over the back of me. Luckily, my safety vest saved me from being in a wheelchair. <laughs> August. August, I started my full-time job now in the marketing and communications team with Tough Rock. Here are just some clips that I just thought I'd put in, which is from later on the, in the year, but... This is definitely my dream job. I am so happy with this job and just blessed to have found such an amazing job. September is the start of my new business with uh, one of my best friends, Tilly. We started a business called TNT Equestrian where we do breaking, training, re-educating. This is one of our ponies in his fourth or fifth ride. This was one we bought ourselves. We still have him. He will be for sale early 2022. His name is Romper. And gosh, he has developed so much since these videos here. 
He is such a superstar little pony. And then here we have Bambi. I'm just trying to develop her trot. As you can see, I've got the trot poles set out. And I had been doing trot poles with her. And then I'm just trying to get her to just get a bit more of length. And in that trot, as you can see, she's got it going. <laughs> um, her consistency and her connection is getting a lot better especially in the canter as you can see here she's starting to really sit back on herself which is so so nice here we have jep because alongside in our business we also do lessons so i started bringing my superstar little national champion jep at the ripe old age of 26 back into work just to coach some beginners which she's so good at october is finally the time for bambi and i can to compete virtually for the pony club nationals as you can see, she's all dolled up and ready to go, looking the part indeed. I've put a couple snippets of all three of our tests throughout this video. It was such a weird thing to do. As you can see, the videos are time stamped to make sure that they were done on the correct time and day. And then we had to send them through to Pony Club Australia. At the end of this video, you will see my results from this competition as it didn't come through until December. So it was a long, long wait, but it was such a cool way to be able to compete. And I feel very privileged to be able to have competed in the first virtual nationals for Pony Club Australia. Here's our first client breaker, Marley. He is absolutely super little pony. And I had such a ball breaking this pony in. As you can see, this is literally just teaching him the very basics of mouthing and steering. This is Apollo, another one of our client horses. He's an off-the-track thoroughbred that we got in for retraining. Our business started growing really, really fast. If you are interested in any of our services, our name is TNT Equestrian. You can search us up on Instagram and Facebook or contact me directly. And yeah, we have spaces filling up fast in the new year, but see if you can get in if you're interested. This is the first time getting on Marley. As you can see, I'm just bellying over him. First sit on him. And then I hopped back off, I jumped back on and Tilly led me around for a couple steps and that's all he did for that day. And then fast forward a little bit further to the end of the month where he's out trotting individually in the paddock with me, which was so, so cool. So cool. November. Look at Marley now. Marley is starting to turn into the true little show pony that he's born and bred to do. Starting to slowly understand connection with still some baby moments with the connection but starting to understand it so 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 well very proud of this little pony and then i also went down to the hunter to visit the tough rock factory i did some filming with some of the sponsored riders and just got to see some of this factory stuff which was really nice i had such a great time while i was down there it's always nice to catch up with all of them and just have a little trip away I also got a new car, which was so exciting. I bought myself a Ford Ranger, and as you can see, it's pretty, pretty cool. I'm absolutely in love with this ute, and I'm so excited to finally have a car that I am able to do everything I need with. It can tow three and a half ton. It is completely perfect for me. And then here I have some clips of Bambi and I. This filming was actually for the Tough Rock ad for the Pony Club Australia Nationals advertising. So here are some clips from my ride. I was featured in the ad for Tough Rock because Tough Rock was a sponsor of the competition. And here are just some of the riding clips from that day of when I was getting footage done. I just thought I'd put together a nice little edit to see how Bambi is going. And this day in particular, she'd had two weeks off because of the weather and I'd pulled out of the paddock, took her down to the arena and she just performed like this. She has come so far this year and I'm so proud of the development in this little mare. Uh, I can't wait for next year with her because it's gonna be such an exciting year. Hopefully things will go as planned as no other year has so far, but I feel like we are on the right foot to get going and hopefully have a better 2022 than we did 2021. <laughs> Bambi and I ended up with Reserve Champion Horse of the Year at Camden Dressage Club throughout our performances at, for the whole year, which was really, really exciting. December, nothing else much happened. I have included some clips from one of our new ponies that we received who we actually bought through our business. 
me and my friend Tilly. His name is Nero and he's just recently started to get backed by us. Here are some clips here. Now, unfortunately, I am yet to receive results for Pony Club Nationals, which is really, really disappointing. I'm filming this currently on the 30th of December and I don't believe I'm going to get them beforehand. Um, which is a shame, but I completely understand that they're having some delays due to the judging, which is annoying because I really wanted to let you guys know in this video how we went. But no worries, I still have the whole vlog stored away for the time when the results do come through and I will be posting them as soon as I get my final results. So stay tuned for them in the early new year, I believe. But yeah, so this was our year summed up um in 20 minutes and i hope you guys are keen to follow my journey with my horses for 2022 thank you for watching and for all of your support bye